What is up everyone, welcome to the cult. That is not a cult. Just remember, this is not a cult. No, but on a serious note, I don't know what to say guys, I seriously don't. As many of you that were on the Discord yesterday may know, Oculus Airlink released yesterday. Uh, we literally bullied Oculus into releasing Airlink early. I, I don't know what to say. The VR community has quite literally taken over a huge corporation. I find that very funny, okay? But on a serious note, Airlink is released. It's now official. You no longer need to follow the video from yesterday. I pinned a comment. I changed the title. It's really funny. It works really nicely. And it still works on Quest 1, surprisingly. And you can either sideload the Airlink Now app for that or any of the other apps that launch Airlink for you. So it seems that my video from yesterday will still apply to you if you're using a Quest 1. Or at least that's what it seems. Also, some people are saying you can sideload just the Airlink APK and it will actually show show up just like it would on the Quest 2, so I think what they mean is take the APK from the Quest 2, it's really weird. Also, a very quick reminder that the Airlink option will only show up for people who have V28 installed on their Quest, and V28 has not yet rolled out to everyone, so if you don't have V28, you can either sideload it or just wait, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Also, another side note, if you have V28 and Airlink isn't showing up for you, try reset experimental settings. That worked for me. And after I reset, my quest rebooted and the option showed up. But the first thing we are going to hop into today before I tell you guys about the actual news, and there's really only one piece of news that I wanna talk about, which is why today's video is going to be shorter, is a trick on how to fix your Airlink because people with Nvidia GPUs are having issues with Airlink. And I'm not saying this is Nvidia's fault specifically because it's not, but there is a very, very simple fix for it. And I was actually chatting with Steve Nose yesterday and I was helping him diagnose his issue because he was having the exact same issue. And basically the late Latency would be horrible, everything would be like four to five seconds late, it would be very, very bad. Here's how to fix that if you are having that issue of stuttering and huge, huge amounts of latency. What you do is you go to this file path right here. After you're in this file path, you open up Oculus Debug Tool, and then in Oculus Debug Tool, you change your bitrate back down to zero. Because normally on NVIDIA GPUs, I have found this has prevailed between different models as well, it would be set to 300. So I'm not sure whether you guys set that in the past or whether that's just what it set itself to on NVIDIA GPUs. After you set that back down to zero, click on file, restart as administrator, and if that zero stayed, you're good. If it didn't, change it back to zero and restart your Oculus app, and you're good. Hopefully that fixes your link issue. It seems to fix it for pretty much everybody on the Discord. And uh, yeah, thanks so much to Steve Nose once again for allowing me to diagnose with him. It was quite fun, very, very fun. It was great talking to you, dude. And uh, yeah, now let's hop straight into the piece of news that we got yesterday alongside the fact that Airlink got released officially. The new Oculus avatars got released. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just like they knew at this point, they just released everything because they knew they can't hide anything from us. That's what happened. At this point, they were just like, yeah, you know what? There's no point in hiding this. They're going to find it anyway. So they just released it. So we got the new Oculus avatars. These are the avatars that developers can implement into their games if they like, and you can have the same avatar between a few different games. So I guess that's pretty cool if you want a form of identity in VR. These are also full body avatars. And even though Oculus doesn't support full body tracking, these have legs, you know, to help you think that they're real. I really don't to make a full video on how to use Airlink, you just fire up experimental features, click on Airlink, boom, your PC shows up, done. Um, and the avatars, they're just pretty cool. Some people hate them, actually. We have quite a few people on the Discord that absolutely despise them. So yeah, make sure to let me know what you think about them down below. I mean, that's pretty much it. I was actually going to take a day off today, but I was just like, no, I can't do that. I still have a pretty damn big project for you guys in the background that I'm working on. It is a review of the most insane headset I have ever used, and it is taking quite a bit more time than any other video I have created. Quite a bit of B-roll in that video. But that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me for this quick video today. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day or night, depending on where you are on the planet. And uh, yeah, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to join our Discord down below. Make sure to join our Reddit, post your spice memes on there. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way you should perform, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that doesn't put a huge ad on body, mysticalstore.com. And if you guys want to be notified of extra content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and See you again in the next video. Peace.